Hello, welcome back again to the Trekway. Um, you may have caught my first quick review that we're doing now for Discovery. This time, episode, uh, Season 5, Episode 2, where we do quick reviews first and then the longer review with my colleague and friend Gray. Um, it's back to front this time, just because of how we decided to do things, but we'll, the review, quick review will be out before the longer one. Um, and apologies, the first episode was slightly longer than usual, just to explain the format and what was going on. Normally, they're within about 10 minutes or so, 5-10 minutes, quick review. Um, but if you've already watched a long review, you, you've got the you've got the best of it, I guess. Depends what you like. Some people prefer just a quick review of what happens. Some people like the, the, the long sit down for a half an hour, an hour to see what's, what's going on and what our thoughts are. So, uh, yeah, we won't take up much of your time. Um, it was a double bill um, from paramount so we got we got we got episode one and two at the same time uh picking up from where we left um on the first episode um and it starts with the uh the guys that we saw at the end the pro pro progenitors um who do look a bit like um pretty sure it was the same actress that played the main changeling in deep space nine because something familiar um I'm glad to see them back because they appeared in season six, episode twenty of TNG. But it's good to see them. My friend Gray is not so happy to see them, but I'm happy to see them because they they see the life in this whole season could be an amazing story, very Indiana Jones esque. But we'll see where it goes. I remain unconvinced, but it's got potential to be great. So. We we kind of we're starting with um, Rainer, uh, Captain Rainer, and Captain Burnham um, in a briefing with Starfleet Brass. There's several people there. There's uh, Admiral Vans. There is I can't don't recall her name. The Federation President. I'm not sure why she's there. That seems like a Starfleet matter, not a Federation matter. But hey ho, um, and a couple of other uh, officers as well. And basically, Rainer's getting a bit of a grilling for not really being a team player and not cooperating in the last episode. He really didn't help the situation. He basically kind of done his own thing and wasn't playing well as a team. And Burnham didn't quite throw him under the bus, but she wasn't defending him either. Um, that didn't go well. Rainer kind of goes off in one a little bit. He, there's a saying here, don't back down, double down, that we have where I come from. And... Um, that's essentially exactly what happened. Um, he was fed up with the politics and stuff. He got a little bit pissed off about this. Um, he done what he thought was right, which gives some great some great elements of being a captain. But you can't just be your own boss. So yeah, that didn't work out too well for him. Um, and obviously, we find out what what uh, what will happen with him later. Uh, there is another mission for Discovery, of course. There are black alert time again, Gray's favourite kind of alert. Um, and they are off to one of the... Uh, Fred, the android from the last episode that was offed, uh, they were able to go for his database and freeze frame, and they, they, they spotted a picture uh, of a system with twin moons, which, um, funnily enough, this episode is... Uh, about twin moons to be fair so um it was a decent start uh i i do like it when there's some good character development going on here uh and rainer's a great character he really is a great character i'm actually excited to see where it goes with this one and it gets where it goes with him is is excellent uh, i'll be honest with you so far uh so they go to the twin they go to the, these twin moons they go to this planet that looks gorgeous uh, they're in a forest, exotic kind of jungle type place, and it's uh, Saru and Burnham. It's supposed to be Saru's last mission. They're having a bit of heart to heart together, the two of them. They come across lots of skeletons and skulls and stuff, and um, talking about grave robbing, what happened here. They see a big statue. Uh, this statue looked like something out of the Aztec era, um, and all of a sudden, this statue comes alive. Because what killed all these um, uh, these people, all the skeletons that are there, 
and it's not so much the statue that came alive, but the eyes and the mouth open, and lots of little drones come out, start shooting at Burnham and Saru. Um, and these things are lethal. They're taking no prisoners at all. Um, they hide under some cover, and their plan is to um, try and get away from there. So they do a bit of a... There's a fight between them. Who's going to be the decoy and who's going to um, basically deactivate the, the drone system, uh, which is pretty sophisticated. Rainer turns up, hollow Ra Rainer, uh, as a, he turns up as a hologram on Discovery to help out Tilly uh, and Stamets. And um, he's the type of guy that, even though he's been benched at this stage, he still wants to help. And their plan is, listen, use one of your phasers to uh, overpower the device close by. Uh, and send a, a pulse out to literally knock everything out. And that's the plan. So, But there's a fight between Burnham and Saru, who's going to be the decoy, like I said before. It's it's um, it's um a sweet fight between the two, but Saru basically makes the good point that he's the, the guy to do it because he is... Um, he His species are... They're quicker. They're definitely quicker, and they, and they can withstand a lot more than human beings can. And that's fair, it is. So whether it's his last mission or not, whether he's getting married or not, he's the right man. And boy, can Saru run. I mean, that guy was... He was gone. Ah, he was the right guy. He does get caught a little bit. He takes a bit of fire, but he keeps going like a trooper. Um, Burnham runs out really quickly with her phaser up to where that statue head was. Sets it to um, blow up um, um, and then runs away and the pulse comes out and knocks them down. But before it knocks, it takes the drone system offline. Saru's about to get offed himself. He, he's cornered and then he uses these um, little quills. Remember those things he had in the back of his head? Gray and I were confused because I thought he lost them as part of his evolution. But he hasn't. They're there. Uh, which is cool. That's I don't care about that. But then he fires them at three drones and takes out the drones. And I thought, that's a bit far-fetched. Uh, Gray and I again joked that what should happen is we've seen these spike things and porcupines, for example, in Earth have them, you know? So uh, many species have these kind of little prickly uh, things on them. I should have just bounced off these metallic drones. But no, it literally took them out. They're lethal the quills that he has so real lethal these things so um he takes them out uh the pulse goes off deactivates the system great um and then they get some clues that leads uh, saru and burnham to this um this other monument type thing uh that only saru can see because he's advanced again you know his eyes can pick up things uh, there's indentations a little bit in the rock, which his eyes can pick up. There's some kind of fungi that's growing there that his eyes can pick up. And it basically says, look behind kind of thing. And he pushes the device away, but they have to do it quickly because what happens, the drones have reactivated. The, the device that powers them has reactivated. They have like three, four minutes. They're doing this all quickly. Uh, they're trying to break down these clues and they're struggling, but then Saru cracks it, you know, they go around the back, they're looking, and then he literally uses his strength. There's another thing that he's better at, us humans suck. He's got superior strength, so he moves the statue away, uh, and there's a little device underneath which they grab and run, literally just as the drones come over and start shooting at them. So that was a close call, uh, to be honest with you, but, you know, they've done the job. Uh, Book uh, tries to find out more about Lack and Maul because they're curious as well. So he, everyone masks their uh, their their address, if you like, their IP address, and uh, Book shows interest that he maybe wants to buy this off of Lack and Maul, but they're not really buying it. Um, and we come back to him in a little minute. Uh, it turns out the device that Sarun Burnham have got um, is one piece of five. Um, that make up this puzzle um, and the next trip that will lead them to the next clue they've got leads them to Trill which is kind of cool but yeah we go back to Book uh, he reckon he de-ages Maul with using the computer system and recognises her her name's actually Malene she's the daughter of uh, Book's mentor 
from back in the day, which is kind of cool. So um, then we have a sad part of Saru leaving this discovery. We hope he's not permanently gone, but he's leaving. He is going to take his promotion, and it's it's very sad and somber. Um, but at the end, what I really really liked, I, it kind of sucky a little bit that. Rayner has been literally asked to take early retirement by um, Admiral Vance. And those guys have been friends for 30 years, um, which kind of sucks because he's a cool character. However, what we find out at the end is seen with Burnham and Rayner, and Rayner's looking really, really sad. Burnham basically offers him a way back in. She says, listen, I know you've been benched, but how about you be my number one? Wow, okay. He's like, nah, 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 I'm not allowed to be number one. Admiral France would never accept it. Vance uh, has already approved it. And he turns around and he says, Burnham, I won't be a yes man. And she says, good, I'm not looking for a yes man. He, he lifts the zip up, the Star Trek music comes on, end of episode. That end bit was really cool. I love Rainer, brilliant character. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Um, thank you for your patience, guys. Let's say next time, You'll see the, the 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 quick review of episode three before you get the longer uh, review with Grey and I. Keep your eye out for the shorts as well that we do, uh, and check our link below for the Discord that we're in because you'll be able to talk all things Star Trek with us there. So until the next time, guys. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>